Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is a dreams tutorial. I've been asked to do something on onion skinning. Now this is not going to be a very long video because there's not really much to onion skinning in dreams. Now for those of you um, not familiar, uh, onion skinning is a term used in animation. It's used uh, for when you can see a previous or a next frame slightly um, opaque version, a, a sort of a pale version of it so that you can see it and then you can draw over it. Um, quite often, uh, animators used to use like 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 a flick book situation and tracing paper and things like that in order to to see their animation. But with the wonders of computers now, um, we can just have a, a pale image of the previous frame visible, so that you can position your animations much better. Now then. Uh, you can only uh, do onion skinning animation in paint mode so it's only paint that you can animate using this technique it won't work with sculpt and here it is here it's called frame by frame and uh, this looks like a little uh, amphitheater it's actually a zoetrope which was an early Victorian um, animation toy where you could see uh, juggling clowns and jumping rabbits and things right so we'll go to frame by frame and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a bouncing ball animation so now animation takes a long time to do to make look good so this is going to be a very very rough little animation for you just to show you the technique right so we're on frame one onion skinning is um defaulted to on and to both so i'm going to set it to uh back so I'm going to set so you can only see the previous frame because that's really all you want to see so I'm going to draw uh, a ball I'm going to create a bouncing ball animation so I need a ball um, I know that's not the greatest ball ever like I say uh, animation takes time right so I'm going to go to next and as you can see because I've got onion skinning on I can see a pale version of uh, my previous frame now I can go ahead and I can uh, draw um, my ball a little bit further down like this but that's not the, the, the best way of doing it I'm just going to go back on that so I'm going to exit the uh, paint tool and I'm actually going to clone what's on this frame so if you press L1 and R2 it's going to clone what was on the previous frame and and now you can just drop it into this frame and we can do that for all our frames going down so there we go down we go so I'm going to create a 12 frame animation now traditional animation runs on 12 frames a second uh, animation like Pixar runs at uh, 24 frames a second and Dreams <coughs> excuse me um, runs uh, I think at 15 because that is the um, the top speed that it gives me so I'm assuming 15 frames per second is is what it's running on based on a 30 frame per second um, runtime for the game um which goes up to 60 i believe for certain computer games run at much higher rate than even movies so um it makes it more difficult obviously the more frames you've got the the smoother the animation will be well i got to the, my last frame so i'm going to click on the fleck again and i'm going to draw a flattened version if you're not happy with it you can undo go again like that there we go so I've done my 12 frames and it's always a good idea now now even though you've created 12 frames and you finished if you go next it will go to 13 so we don't do that we'll go back to the beginning and I wish it wouldn't keep doing that I'll have to turn that off I keep forgetting right okay so there we go and I'm going to turn onion skinning off and I'm going to press down on the R uh, right joystick and turn on play and there's our bouncing ball well it's not bouncing it's much as it's hitting 
and then starting again from the beginning which is not quite what we want so we'll come out of this mode now if we go and hover over it and then L1 and square we get the um, tweak menu we go to frame by frame and I want to change that to ping pong now let's have a look it's now that's better that's a more of a bounce that we want but it's a bit slow so let's move it up to 12 which is what I did 12 frames and that's better just to show you 15 is the highest it will go to uh, it doesn't look very good at 15 I think it's because we've got 12 frames and so that makes more sense so there is our bounce mechanic there we go so there's our bouncing ball like I say it's a little slow uh, the options on um, animating uh, paint flex are relatively limited but you could um, with a bit of experimentation come up with something really nice now you can also animate um, this this is an animated paint fleck so you can animate this um, as if it was just a, a bog standard paint fleck so you can go in and animate it um, with these effects it's still going to do its animation look but you can add these type of effects to it okay um, it's still going to it's going to do what whatever it does in those you can also clone so you can have really interesting effects it's a great way of making music videos if you manage to animate it so it's in time with your music that would look rather good um, so you can do all of that with it um, but um, the other things you can do is animate the movement of it with uh, an action recorder so we're going to grab it and we're going to move across the screen slowly there you go that'll do so now we go into play mode and now our ball bounces across the screen and you do exactly the same with a timeline and keyframes so let's try that shall we whoops there we go um let's uh let's get rid of the action recorder let's put a time frame in with a keyframe so move that over there um, we'll stick a keyframe in here we'll reduce that down to there and we need to blend type and we need oops we need to edit that so that goes over there right so now we've got a bouncing ball that bounces across the screen and um, then bounces about in the middle because it's got nothing else to do because uh, we haven't told it it runs it once and then it's done right so there we go you can uh, add time frames you can do action recorders to this you can duplicate that up um, obviously you can uh, if you want to change this you want to add to this um, they are in it now so um, so I did uh, I scoped into it um, you can click on edit fleck and I have no idea why that's doing that I don't want to edit the fleck right so um, this is frame one so if I wanted to put a smiley face on that frame two frame three frame
go. So you can always add to your animation uh, afterwards. Add colour and things, but obviously be aware um, that uh, it, it, there is limitations to, to what you can do with this technique. And uh, there we go. That is one of the things that is a problem when you're painting with paint, is that uh, that looked fine, but because I didn't draw it at the same time, the face is not even remotely connected to the circle. So that is a worry. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to have a block and um, you use snap to surface, surface snap, um, and then don't delete the block until you, you've completed your animations. That way they're all on the same level. But there you go. There's a problem that you need to be aware of. Right, there you go. Onion skinning in in dreams. Hope that was useful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams.